Hey everyone, it's Game Dev with Drew. Uh, it's 11 19 p.m., but I just got home and now I'm going to show you how to download Godot 3.5 as well as going over whatever. So go to godotengine.org and press download on the standard version. It will now download a stable but nice zip file because it's 3.5 stable now. And now you can get rid of your 3.5 RC7 or whatever number you have. Press delete that and drag these guys on in here and now you can double click this guy and everything's here. I also pin this and unpin you and perfect now we have you. Um, so now we'll close this close this and now let's go over the changes in 3.5. Uh, I saw that Game From Scratch already made a video on this, but also I want to cash in on those amazing views and watch time. So after nine month, nine whole months of development, 3.5 is out and has tons of features. Oh, you could have just pressed download here. There's also a web editor. If you didn't know that, you can you can work on the Godot, Godot games in the web editor. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 3.5 is, is compatible with all 3.4 upgrades. And it's a recommended upgrade for all users, which is amazing. Don't forget to uh, support them and become a patron because uh, they are a nonprofit organization. Or, sorry, not for profit organization. Same thing. Not really, but whatever. Um, there's ton tons of features, such as the navigation server, uh, which makes you basically just avoid obstacles in the game. Uh, you can see here's a video of it at working. Um, it actively avoids obstacles even though they're moving which is amazing they also change physics interpolation which makes everything easier um for just physics in 3d there's now a scene tr uh, tree tween which is amazing a uh, new time singleton uh, the time singleton uh, is just better ways of reading the time from the os which is great you can use the os or time singleton they added a label 3D node, which makes you do this, obviously. Uh, you can put 3D text on the screen. It's amazing. Um, unique names for nodes. So just you can just see it. You, if you put like a special sign on it, you can just do it, call it from wherever it needs to be. New flow containers, which is horizontal and vertical flow containers which is more stuff in the control system which is amazing asynchronous shader compilation i already went over this a little bit but yeah stuff like that occluder shape polygon this is just like occlusion um so that you can see so you don't need to render and everything it's kind of like how the doom engine works with ray casting and everything like that android editor port so if you have an android phone i do not i have a ios i have an iphone um so sadly I cannot access that maybe someday I will be able to but you can edit the uh, you can work on the engine edit your games within and and any Android which might mean it can work inside of an oculus headset because that works on Android now there's material overlays it looks cool I'm gonna be honest with you um, I think it looks sick because like it's like the net frame in CSGO and, and like other source games uh, there's also UI increases, and there's a lot of other improvements. Let's go into the change log just to see. So we want so 3D is awesome. Uh, audio is amazing. Allow configuring loop mode on WAV, on WAV import WAV, whatever. Um, core editor editor things are amazing to look at. I believe um, pinning property values is very useful, as well as uh let's see inspector preview for bitmap that's actually amazing as well so make sure to use that gd native uh if you want to use any other language i love c plus plus i kind of prefer gd script now though so don't worry about that also i'll turn that off just ignore that for the entire video uh input allow mapping scan nodes to current layout i don't know what that means but i'm excited for it Navigation server is amazing. Um, time step interpolation. Hopefully they'll fix that in the 2D equivalent. They only did it in 3D. Porting, amazing. I love that. Mac OS. Uh, I have a Mac, but...
but not obviously this, but I do do stuff. XR, rendering touch events now, support and smartphone AR. So you can make AR games much better now. And allow, allow mapping VR controller buttons to match with other AR VR interfaces. I'm pretty sure it only worked with Oculus, but now I think it works with the Vive, which is amazing. Um, more things inside the editor. So they changed these, and these are just fixed, added, added. So there's add, all new added things. Now here's the changed things. Um, they changed many different things, uh, mostly inside the editor as well as the export. Improve embedded pack loading, which is amazing. Input, they, they made input a lot easier. Max button number to one. What, what are you using? Maybe like a sound software, I guess, with that many buttons, like a MIDI. You can make a MIDI software now, I guess. Uh, third party, good SDL. I, whenever I see SDL, it makes me happy. I used to be a C++ man. Uh, removed. They removed some 2D things, which is good. Fix canvas item not existing in its canvas. I've seen that actually. It doesn't like look right. Fixes uh, camera 2D position and first update. That that's actually good. Maybe they fixed the camera. Maybe the camera was like touched a bit. But overall, 3.5 is not over. There's going to be a 3.6. And so you're not going to have to work in Godot 4.0. And as you know, my most popular video, Godot 4, is getting close to beta. I cannot wait for Godot 4. And you'll be able to um, port it. It should be pretty easy. I'm gonna be, I will make a video on porting. Um, don't worry. And there will be long-term support on the 3.x branch. Thank goodness. Because if I don't like 4.0, then I'll go back to 3.0. Or just 3.x in general so that's really all i have to show you guys about godot 3.5 they added a lot of things and in my next stream i will most definitely go check out the new issue the new things because uh, now it's stable so now you don't have to like worry about anything so yeah thank you all so much for watching make sure to subscribe and leave a like and also join their patreon come on you gotta you gotta it's it's a very nice like gesture all right now have a great day guys bye everyone